Hi everyone. Today we are excited to show you a feature that has been highly requested by our users, aka account recovery. Let me explain why this feature is important. In order to access Passbolt, you need a private key and a passphrase, which guarantees the security of your data. But what happens if you lose one of them? Well, until now, you will have simply lost access to your account, including all the unshared passwords. But that's the past. We got you covered now with account recovery. With this feature, you will now have the ability to create an end-to-end -end encrypted backup of your private key stored on the server and recover your account without the pain of creating it again. To demonstrate that, I will role play the admin and with me, Julie, will be the user that lost the passphrase. Let's deep dive. Let's start by setting up the account recovery feature in Passbolt. For that, let's go to the admin workspace. You will now notice that there is a new menu item called Account Recovery. The configuration page of the feature is divided into two sections. The first one is the enforcement policy that you want for the feature. By default, and even before the Account Recovery feature was there, it was in disable mode, meaning that the private keys encrypted backup are not stored on the server. Then, you can enforce the policy and make account recovery mandatory for your existing and new users, making sure that they will have an encrypted backup of their private keys on the server. There are also two other policies, opt-in and opt-out, where users will have the freedom to decide whether they want to have an account recovery mechanism or not. For this video, I will select the mandatory policy. After confirming the policy, the next step will be to create an organization recovery key. This key is simply the cornerstone of the account recovery mechanism and will be used for the encryption of all the user's private keys as well as the enablement of the recovery process by the administrators. That's why you should treat this key with extreme caution. For this organization recovery key, you have two possibilities. Either you can import one that you generated or you can let Passball do it for you. Let's generate one here. It will prompt you to save the key. You are now ready to save the settings and start the enrollment process. And voila, the feature is now ready to be used. Let's see how the enrollment process works for existing users. After logging in successfully on Passbolt, you will see a prompt message asking you to start the enrollment process for account recovery. We click continue. Since we choose the mandatory policies, I have no other choice than just accept the enrollment process. And you can accept it. Since we are manipulating the private key, it will prompt you to enter your passphrase. And this is done. The process is quick and seamless. Okay, great. So now let's check together how the process works from a user perspective. I want to access my Passbolt account. I'm on the login page, but unfortunately, I lost my passphrase. Now, as Max explained, this would have been quite problematic before the release of this new feature, but since I shared my private key securely with the organization recovery key, I can now ask for help. All right, let's initiate the process. And yes, I want to request an account recovery. I am prompted to, che to check my mailbox. This is what I'm going to do. And there you go, the process is initiated and I can go ahead. Okay, now I have to select a new passphrase since I'm initiating a new process. I'll go ahead with that, it's strong enough. And just like when you created your account for the first time, you have to select a security token just to ensure that the, the form is indeed coming from Passbolt. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead with this one. And that's it on my side. This is all I have to do now. I have to wait for the admin of the account, so Max, to approve my request. Admins just received an email requesting an account recovery. 
His job will be to check if the request is legitimate with the requester. Once the admin is sure that the request is legit, he can approve it. In order to finish the recovery process, the admin will have to put the organization recovery key, as well as the organization key passphrase. And this is done. Okay, great. Max has approved my request. You can see here that I received an email saying that I can continue and complete the recovery process. So this is what I'm gonna do. Now I have to enter my new passphrase. Let's do it. And there you go. I have access to my passbolt again. Thank you so much, Max. We hope you like this new feature. If you have any comment, please share on the community forum or our social media. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.